Our female contenders are set to go. Using the blue scoring markers, Miriam Loesch from Germany. And trying to score with the red markers, American Gladiator champion from the USA, Peggy Odita. Sworn to protect the Powerball turf, let's meet our three gladiators. From South Africa, Sahara, Astro from Russia, and Flame from Australia. Over to international referee, John Anderson. Germany and USA. Ready! Powered up for Powerball. Two, one. Here's Peggy. Oh, kept out by Astra. Miriam tackled by Sahara. The American girl reloads, spots the space, and easy two points for Peggy. Peggy again tries to split them. Oh, too hot to frame three points. And Miriam yet to score. Peggy. Oh, bounding her way through. Two more. Miriam tackled by Sahara. Peggy reloads. Singed by the flame this time, and Astra, oh, Miriam with a free run for two. The German girl gets her marks on the scoreboard. Peggy, oh, flames put out, two more. And Miriam kicks sand in Sahara's face, another two. Gladiator's not quite together as a team yet. Peggy taking more, and Miriam beats Astra to the basket to score. Time running down, and so's Miriam. Peggy reloads. Oh, a face full of flame. Miriam against Sahara. Oh, rattles the rim. Unlucky. And what a fantastic start to this international competition. Peggy pulling 11 points. Look how she faced up to two gladiators, split them, and despite that tackle, smothered the flame for a center basket. After one event, Peggy from the USA 11, Miriam from Germany 6. Using the blue scoring markers from Great Britain, 1995 British champion Mark Everett. Using the red scoring markers from Russia, Alexander Maltsev. Ready to do battle, our three gladiators, Hawk from the USA, Flash from Germany, and the Hammer from Australia. Flash might fight Russian bodyguard Alexander Moltsev, rather tough to get his teeth into, 5'11 and weighing 15 stones. The UK's Mark Everett is three inches taller, but a stone lighter. Gladiators, are you ready? Yeah. Oh. Three, two, Let's get this show five. on the road. Alexander. Oh, Flash takes him out. Mark. Nailed by the hammer. This is going to be a tough one. Alexander, oh, Hawks roots to conquer. Mark beats Flash, hammer's there. Rushes Alexander, needs to pot some reds. Oh, Flash of brilliance. Mark reloads. Hammer, all battling it out. Hammer and tongs against the baskets. Alexander with space, two points, despite his size, incredible speed. Mark back to try again. Oh, Hulk flies it in. Mark free. Switches for a superb center basket. Alexander. Oh, much better from Hulk. Mark flashes there. And Hammer makes it a real horror. Alexander. Straight into Flash. And Hulk sinks his talons in. Mark again. Hammer pushes him wide, but he scored. Alexander. Oh, the Hulk disposes of his prey. Big takedown. Mark, two gladiators against him, but so's the clock. Well, we said it would be tough, but good scoring. Mark's family celebrates. Mike Adam leaves there. Well, Mark Everett, I don't know what it was like for you when you were defending or winning the British Championship, but compare your experience then and your experience now against the international team of gladiators. It was hard for the nationals, but I just feel like I've been run over now. <laughs> best, best move of the whole Powerball match you were smart enough to realize that, hey, you were wide open and you had a chance to go for the center cylinder and you took three as opposed to two. That's right. 
In this game, you need as many points as you can get, so I see the opportunity, so I went for it. Well, congratulations, Mark. You won it 5-2. Mark Everett from Great Britain. <laughs> Alexander, what did you think of your performance? Well, Everything was OK, this. but I've been too soft with my opponents. You were a tough guy out there. You hung in there. Good luck. Keep going. Thank you. Alexander Maltsev from Russia. Too soft with his opponents, eh? Kimberly's down there with the gladiators. You look like you were ready for anything then. That was a tough game. No, it was a tough game. I was ready to rumble, but the guy was very fast. We made his life very hard. But you know, it's, it's one of the fastest games. I love it. And the floor, you know, you have to get on this floor. It's heavy to, to move. <laughs> But we, we, we tried our best. Well, you certainly look like uh, you're a bit worse for wear now. You're puffing and panting. You have to give everything, everything, in the, in the moment that the play, the play begins. And that they did. Hammer, you were living up to your name. You enjoy this game very much, and I think it's one of your favourites, isn't it? Well, I've been playing rugby league for 26 years, and it's, to play on a game like this where it's a minute and it's full explosive for the minute, you certainly do tire quick. But, it, you know, the challenge was fantastic. And they scored some good points, but it was a good game. That's what we liked. Oh, it was very about. clean, wasn't it? Very clean. But, I mean, that's the way we want to play it. The harder and cleaner, the better. Now, Hawk, you were in the zone, man. Kim, let me tell you something. I'm instilling new nicknames today. That's showtime, he's crunch time, and I'm lunch time. And we gave you some head splitting in prime time. Let's get it going, baby. Woo! Hawk, a legend in his own lunchtime. After one event, Alexander from Russia is on two. Mark from the UK, five.